everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today Jim is not working, it's his day off. So he worked out for a little bit at the Arla Paradise Zoo gym and now it's time for him to learn a new skill <laughs> and visit other locations in the island. The island is so beautiful. So he went to this lake and he tried to fish. <laughs> However, after a while of Jim being in this lake, he was not able to catch anything, which is very sad. But I noticed some crystals around this lake. So I decided for Jim to collect them so he can make some money from them. They don't work much, but it's a start. After a while, he decided to go to a different lake in a different island, I guess. The one uh, that is near the tattoo shop. So he went there and he went fishing on that lake for a little bit. For some reason, in my mind, I thought this uh, lake was smaller, so I thought it wasn't a very good idea for Jim to go there in the first place. But after all, Jim actually got lucky in this lake and he catched some fish. He's also very tired because he was improving his athletic skills. I decided to cut that part, but he was working out pretty much all day. He is at level 6 or 7 in the athletic skill right now. And as you know, that helps with his career. But I am glad Jim ended up in this lake because he was able to finally improve his fishing skill. See, here we go, he finally catched <laughs> something. Looks can be deceiving and this lake is much better than the other one. It says that Jim just caught a new type of fish and he can make some money from selling the fish or cooking and he was able to catch another one before it was time for him to go eat something at the restaurant next to the lake. I will speed up this part right here since we cannot uh, see Jim eating or inside the restaurant and then he will go home. He is very tired from all the working out so the moment he gets home he will go straight to bed. In the beginning of the week I did a renovation on Jim's houseboat. So you, if you haven't seen that video, the house will look a bit different. Not too much because Jim didn't have a lot, a lot of money. But it was enough to change a couple things. I was very tired of the wallpaper. He was having a lot of issues with the kitchen appliance. I still need to change a lot of things in his bedroom. But uh, I think the kitchen was the worst part and now it has better appliance so I am hoping they don't break that easily. <laughs> and I also changed a little bit his uh, living room and his bedroom. But the moment that he made more money I kept changing things on his house. It's, it has been years since I built something in Sims 3. And I was looking forward to do this in Jim's houseboat to change a couple of things and to improve something in there. And as you can see, Jim doesn't have a lot of money at this moment because of the renovation. But he is at level 6 in the lifeguard career. I think he might get a promotion in the next day and so he will have more money by then. I still want to change a couple of things in the houseboat rooftop. I really want to add a bar and something like that. From time to time one of Jim's wishes 
is to have a house party and I think a bar and stuff like that on the top it will look really cool and will be perfect for house parties and it's also fall, it's no longer summer so I was a bit concerned about how jeans work will be because you know in real life people usually go to the beach during summer once fall starts most people are back to work and kids are in school so in real life there's not a lot of people at the beach during fall unless they are able to go on vacation around that time and I was wondering cool how it will be in the Sims 3 because as you know if there are no one at the beach Jim will not make money, he will not be able to rescue Sims or give CPR but also he can't improve his career and so it's not a very good thing but we will see about that, maybe it will be good so I was a bit upset when I saw that uh, Jim went to this beach because this beach is the one that uh, sometimes it's very empty and nothing much happens but again we might uh, have a surprise today <laughs> it will be good if Jim was able to rescue a lot of sims not just for the money <laughs> of course but also to improve his lifeguard career and to get the promotion I think he will get the promotion still because he has been working on his athletic skill on his charisma skill he has been doing his homework but that sim completely ignored Jim <laughs> that sim really wants to go to the water he doesn't want to listen to Jim talk about beach safety and rescue stories <laughs> So, poor Jim. Guess who needs help? That first sim that was ignoring Jim. That's the first rescue of the day. Let's hope Jim can be really fast to rescue him. It's always a bit ironic how they ignore Jim's advice and still go into the water and then they are in trouble, isn't it? I love how faster Jim is now. He practically jumped in the water and he was near the sim and he made some money already which is very good now there are more sims in the water as well and there's a sim that uh, is on the sand that needs help I completely missed that and Jim did too he was worried about the other sim that was in the water oh boy <laughs> it started really slow and now it's becoming a bit of chaotic but I think Jim will handle this very well and there's another sim who needs help in the water so now it is much more uh, complicated I guess because you can have sims in the water that need help and also ones that pass out on the sand it's it's a lot Jim has to do a lot of work but he also makes good money from this so it's not all that bad so that sim that Jim just helped it said thank you whoa you are kind of cute <laughs> I think it's the first time that Jim got a notification like this from rescue a sim maybe he will talk with that lady later on and Jim got the promotion that I was talking about it says congratulations Jim has been conferred the new title of profession lifesaver by the Isle of Paradise Town Council in recognition of his valuable contributions to the workforce you are fast becoming a pro at rescuing sims in danger you will give them the bread they so desperately need then take it away again with your efficacious style <laughs> and now Jim can demonstrate mouth to mouth with other sims it's good Jim is improving his career fast I think Jim is very happy for the recognition he is getting that boat really makes things <laughs> harder for the lady to get out of the water come on boat <laughs> boats in the sims 3 are wild I'm telling you It's nothing like in The Sims 4. But the lady is fine. 
Thank God for that. It says good to know that there are still good lifeguards out there. It looks like everyone is having a great time. Some are playing on the water, some are chilling in the sand. It looks like that couple is above the water. Sometimes this happens in my game and it happens in Sims 4 too. It's probably a glitch or a bug. It doesn't affect the game that much, but it's kind of funny and strange and the same time when you when you look at that oh well jim also needs to save 50 sims to complete his lifetime and it also says anyone can be a lifeguard but the sim that rescues drowning sims is a true hero be a hero in your town and it says that he needs to rescue 50 sims as a lifeguard and so far since the beginning of this let's play he has rescued 21 sims it's almost half of that now the sim that hasn't ignored jim when jim was talking to him is actually going away like from the the coast area He's very away from all the other sims are not sure if he will get in trouble. I am assuming he will get in trouble, but we will see. We now know that Jim is much faster and everything will be fine, hopefully. It's almost the end of the day. No one is in trouble in the sand, but again, some sims are so near to the shore and get in trouble and others swim so far away and are not in trouble. It's a bit confusing. And for some reason, I feel like Jim will need to rescue that sim that was actually listening to Jim. He was giving him good advice and he went and swim far away anyway the sky is so beautiful not just the water the clouds and everything look so amazing in this island i love it. sims 3 island paradise i keep saying this but it's the truth so it's the end of jim's work shift and he didn't have to rescue anyone else so he will try to talk to that lady that said that he was good maybe something else will happen we don't know just yet <laughs> let's see how everything goes that lady said we have so much in common i would love to get to, to get to know you better that lady is hitting on jim since the moment that he saved her it also shows the attractive company moodlet so jim is kind of into her as well we will see about that jim needs are a bit low after working all day so he will talk with that lady for a little bit but then he really needs to go home it also showed the new friend moodlet so at least they are friends now it's a good thing and me, it's in a relationship with Franklin. I think I missed that notification. It was around the time that Jim was going home. And I don't know how this will affect their relationship, but at least they are friends. And I think Jim and Minnie will remain friends. So when Jim got home, I saw that he had mail. So he will get the mail, he will recycle, he will take care of his needs and then he will go to bed. So the letter was from Mindy. Hey, there's a letter for Jim from Mindy. It says, I have been dreaming of you and me getting together. Will you make my dreams come true? Oh no! <laughs> I don't know why all the ladies are either hiding secrets from Jim or they are in a relationship and they still want to get to know Jim better <laughs> or maybe be in a relationship with Jim. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a bit strange, a bit awkward. I don't know how Jim will handle that. <laughs> but she was the one who started. He's, she said he was cute after Jim rescued her and she has been saying that she wants to know him better. 
but she's married. Come on, Minnie. <laughs> this is wild. The house still needs more stuff. I'm still not happy with how the house looks. It's a new day. Jim will have breakfast and he will take a shower later on. As I said, now it's fall in this safe and Jim got the following notification. It says the fall festival has made its way to town, setting up just in time to get everyone in the mood for the spooky day. Don your best costume and come celebrate with us, won't you? Try your luck, <laughs> the pie eating contest and apple bobbling, bobbing, tank, <laughs> away. So sorry, but some words are hard to pronounce. <laughs> if competition doesn't strike your fancy, grab a city slickers portion and watch from the sidelines. A trip to the haunted house may just leave you a change it seem literally. <laughs> Cap it all off with a stroll through the pumpkin patch to pick yourself out a carving pumpkin fresh from the farm. This sounds so fun. Uh, I love it. the summer festival. I actually wanted to have that kind of festivals in The Sims 4. So now I am looking forward for the fall festival. I think Jim will have a lot of fun. I ended up changing a couple more things on Jim's house such as the wallpaper from the kitchen and living room area as well as the couch but I didn't add in this part it is in the renovation video if you want to see everything it's in that video so Jim will watch a little bit of TV and then he will go to the fall festival take a look at the fall festival <laughs> I love how there's pumpkin pie uh, slice on top of the ticket things <laughs> and how everything has a completely different look from the summer festival obviously in the notification it talked about the haunted house the pumpkin patch farm and the apple contest and the pie contest I guess and I was expecting that but I had no clue how it would look overall and I love how the pumpkin patch looks the haunted house looks so awesome so and as I said the pumpkin pie slice on top of those ticket uh, things looks so awesome I think Jim will actually take another greeting card photo because when I was uh, renovating his house I accidentally deleted the summer greeting card photo which is very sad because it had the beach in the background and that suits Jim very well because of his career and the fact that he lives in the beach but oh well it was my mistake so he needs to take another greeting card photo i think the background will look completely different but that's on me and he will try the new contests and all of that i think jim will have a lot of fun he doesn't have a lot of money right now again because as i said i changed more things in his house and i didn't include it in this episode but it is in the renovation house uh, video. Now he will join the eating pie contest. This is a big of a surprise for me because I thought it was going to be pumpkin pies for the contest or apple pie for some reason and it looks like it is blueberry pie from the looks of it. So oh well, you can also see pumpkins and such on the table of the contest so I was really hoping for a pumpkin pie contest or an apple pie contest oh well look at Jim's face he was not able to get his face painted because he doesn't have a lot of money right now but that is no issue at all he, he will get his face painted right now from the blueberry pie his face looks crazy <laughs> looks so 
crazy right now. Sadly, Jim didn't won this contest, but uh, maybe he will be second place. It happened with the hot dog contest the first time Jim tried. Yes, I think he won second place. You know, it's not that bad <laughs> for a first time. And guess who works at the fall festival? Me. <laughs> I had no clue she worked here, so maybe Jim Quinn talk with her a little more. Again, I don't think he will pursue anything romantic with her because she is married, but uh, I think he will remain a good friend to her. He will talk with Mandy for a little bit. Jim's face. Look so strange. Imagine being at the festival and someone with that face talking to you. <laughs> it's so like we know how that happened, and sadly he didn't win. He was second place. But at the same time, it's so strange. So now, Jim, I was trying to see if he was able to enter the apple contest. He was not able to. So he is going to the pumpkin uh, farm path or pumpkin patch since I was thinking well, about selling well, the pump and maybe so he can make enough money to get his face painted because I'm telling you his face looks insane right now but they don't uh, worth a lot of money so he's still not able to get his face painted He will walk around with his face like that <laughs> until he gets home. I actually think the scarecrow from Sims 3 is so cool. You can see the movement a little bit with the wind and such. It looks very, very cool. I also like the scarecrow from The Sims 4, but I don't think this has any animation to it other than the wind making it move a little bit. I decided for Jim to use the all-in-one bedroom to see if he can get the blueberry pie off his face. <laughs> it looks so funny. I keep saying this because it's mind-blowing to me how it turned out after the contest and how he, he's walking around talking to other sims with his face like that. <laughs> it is wild. <laughs> And now Jim saw the ghost of Chandel Scott. She was alive in the last episode. I don't know what happened. I have to look up how she passed the way because ghosts in The Sims 3 have the colors or how they pass it on them. I will check that. So from my research, uh, because Sh Chandel Scott is all white, it means that she passed from old age. But I am very confused because in the last part she didn't look it old, I guess. I'm not sure anymore. And Jim hates ghosts, so he is not very happy about, about that. And it's almost the end of the day, so it's time for him to go home. So he will take care of his needs and then he will go to bed because he has work tomorrow. It's a new day, after he watched TV for a while, it's finally time for him to go to work. Let's see to what beach he's going today. So he's in the beach that is right next to his house. This beach is always very crowded, <laughs> so I think uh, Jim will, will be able to rescue a couple of sims soon. Lupita is also in this area, but Jim will not talk to her. He's very upset still because of all the lies and how deceiving she was. Oh no, speaking about her, guess who needs help? So I guess Jim will have to talk to her after all. Oh. 
And there's another scene that needs help in the sand. Oh no. I was just talking about how this beach is very crowded sometimes and has a lot of seams sometimes. And this is all happening all <laughs> at once. So I think it is Lupita's daughter, Ashley Alto, who needs help. And seems like she was pretending that she needed help. She kept looking around after she passed it on the sand. Very weird. I'm telling you, Jim is so done with the Alto family and their drama. But if they are at his beach, he needs to rescue them. He can't change that. And Lupita also needs CPR. And Lupita Alto also said the same thing. What a family. Now there's another scene in the water that needs help. Jim is super busy right now. And Lupita said, you are the best lifeguard ever. Yeah, Lupita, keep dreaming. And there's another scene that needs help in the water. Can Jim take a break? <laughs> This has been wild. <laughs> One more and Jim has rescued half the scenes he needs to become a seaside savior. It has been such a long journey for Jim. It has been a wild journey for Jim, but I am happy that he is almost there. That scene also needs CPR. That gentleman said you are the best lifeguard ever and you bet Jim is. <laughs> he has been working very hard on his career. Ajaka Diba's Reef. Napito. Boss Wangle. You're the Ubing. Ripsel. Bobots. Bashu. Slu. Slu Puta. Chooch Under. Jarvis. Fina Navupi. Negra Bob. Taguni Vag. Flex. Nabazine. Where? Jim just reached level 5 in charisma skill, so this is very good. It means that he is also working on his lifeguard career. Stump. Ornato. Zawalala. Mob. 
and another sim just passed out on the sand. Jim has to help her. She wasn't even in the water, but I think Jim will talk with her about beach safety, rescue stories, so she will become more aware of the things that she needs to do to be to have fun at the beach, but still be safe. And again, the boots in the water are insane, and it's a bit scary when there are scenes in the water as well. I don't know why, but it is just the way it is. Kanji Haladobo, Abu Bambunai, Sanda Yala Jablan. Artab, Luizzi, Artu. The news. Nidiwa G. That's the end of Jim's workday and it's also the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe, like and share and I will see you in the next part.